Today I'm going to show you how to add an incoming call route in the manager program. So after you open a configuration, you're going to find incoming call route located on your configuration tree here. So as I go down the list here, I see incoming call route right in the middle. I left click on incoming call route one time. And once I do that, in the middle column here, you'll see all of my incoming call routes. And then in the far right, if I click on any of these incoming call routes, it gives that incoming call route number in more detail. So what I want to do is I want to add a new incoming call route today. Now this is, if you have extra numbers, um, this is you know, what, where you'll add that number and point it to a specific destination. So these numbers already have to be coming into your, your, into your building, obviously a, you know, a PRI. Um, or if you have like a POTS line, you can take it and point it to a specific destination. So what I want to do is I'm going to, first of all, make sure I have a phone number, locate the phone number that I want to use and make sure that it is a working phone number. Once I figured out that I have a phone number, I'm going to right click in this middle column here and select new. Once I do that, I'm going to get my blank incoming call route um, number over here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to where it says incoming number here. Okay, if I look through my list, I notice, okay, my incoming call numbers, I have 1500, 1501, 1502, oh, I also have 1503. So I'm going to take that number and point that to a destination. Now if you notice, we're only routing by the last four digits of that phone number. So the actual phone number I'm routing is 847-424-1503 and then pointing that to a destination. But you do not need to put the whole number in here. We just put in 1503. Once I put in that incoming number, I'm going to go to my destinations tab and left click over that once. Once I've clicked on destination, um, I'm going to go to where it says destination and then there's that drop down arrow here. I'm going to click on that one time, left click on that one time. And it'll give me all the users in my system. So I can take that number and point it to who, whatever user I want to. So I'm going to give this to um, extension 201 and click once, and then press OK at the bottom of the screen. If I click back on my standard tab here, you'll see now that extension 1503 goes to the destination of 201. I'm going to click back on standard. You'll also see that incoming call route right here, 1503 goes to extension 201. Again, that is a, the number 847-424-1503. To save this and make it live in the system, you either press the blue disk up here in the left-hand corner or File, Save Configuration. It'll become live in the system. Then what you're going to want to do once it's live in the system is you're going to want to test that call. So you're going to want to call 847-424-1503 and make sure it goes to extension 201. And that is how you add an incoming number and point it to a specific destination in the manager program.